Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. I'm just learning um, the cartomancy with an old Romani um, method. And I just sort of want a little, this is a little bit of a practice thing for me in regards to what I've learned so far in the basic, um, the basic, of mean so what do the suits mean in regards to um you've got spades which is your intellect um spades is very much about what you think what you um your communication so it's about using the wit your wit when you're working with the spades so that's an ear sign. So then you have clubs, which is your um, fire sign, and that's about your desires, your creativity, your passion, ambition, um, your drive, motivation. Okay. Then you've got the hearts, which is your water sign, and that's about your dreams, your love, your feelings and emotions. So how you feel about something is the heart. And then you've got diamonds, which is your earth sign. Okay, that's about your material and physical. Aspects of your journey. So that's your um, physical aspects, your material, your financial, your wealth, your um, security, a um, sense of. Um, that sort of thing so that's your earthy sign so I've learned that then there's the numbers and I've been going through numbers and numbers in the Romani are very different from tarot so I'm sort of been just learning it quite slowly so one for me is one in the Romani is um, new beginnings that's what I've got so far two is about relationships and how you manage them three is about your trials and your tests so those are things that are coming into your journey and that are give you trials and they're going to test you in many ways um, four is about structure and foundations five they've put down as magical connection so when a five comes up there must be some sort of connection that's quite magical quite special um, six is about feeling safe seven is about luck now we don't know whether that luck is good luck or bad luck just that it's luck so it's about things that are um, you know, in, in your state and whether you feel that's lucky or not lucky, depending on what cards are around it, um, what card it actually, what suit it is, that sort of thing may, may come into play. Next one is eight, which is quite different for me, which is about completion. Okay, so it's a sense about things ending. So it's a feeling of wholeness within it. Nine is initiation, so you're moving into new areas of your journey um 10 is about new opportunities and a chance to redo things so that's what i've learned so far um i have learned the first four in the spate so we've got one i think is about using your um the air qualities in regards to all areas of your life so you look at your four areas of your life you look at your um, intellect, you look at your creativity and desires, you look at your love life, your dreams, and you look at finances and health. And um, with the mind, with the mental side, the ace of spades, you then, in those areas of your life, you look at having some clarity in some way, um, having that mindset that um, things are exactly as you want them to be. It tells you that it's a perfect time for you to um, really feel like you have, you're centered and you're ready to make, um, to get some clarity on the situation. Now, if you're going into two of spades, that's again you've got that sense of actually having some real clarity and enabling to make the decisions in regards to the relationship so that to me is a sense of really being very clear about what you 
want. So if it's in regard to your desires and creativity, you're actually really clear about those desires and those creativity. The desires and creativity. The desires and creativity and allowing you to actually feel like you are now ready for what lies ahead okay we talked about threes being um having the trials and the tests okay so this is a mental trials and tests so it's really asking you to really get to know where you're where you are in your in those areas of your life where are you in regards to your love relationship so when you're in um regards to your love um it's really sort of saying to you that when you're aware of what decisions you actually need to make now you've got to decide are you going to give up or are you going to keep going so that's really, really important too. So are you ready to just keep moving through these tests and these trials that are coming through mentally? Are you ready? Or are you just going to go, oh, stuff it, I can't be bothered? You know, so that's your choice with when the three of spades comes up. Now you've got four of spades, which talks about trials and tribulations. So it's trials and challenges and tests. You're being tested to the full extent. And it's sort of saying that it's time to um, really believe in who you are. It's about being constructive in the action that you actually need to take. So that's really important in all areas of your life. So when you're looking at, say, your finance and health, it's about um, stepping forward with your mind alert on your goals. It's now time to sort of knuckle down and make that actual action coming through. So that's a really good start. That's what I've done so far. I've still got five to of course, to 10 and then Jack, Queen and King still to learn. But I just sort of wanted to sort of get that out there that when you're learning um, reading with cardamancy, it is about really learning what each card actually means in different areas of life. There is no, um, it's not about, for me, I'm learning, so it's quite direct, like it's quite accurate, it's quite um I think it's very similar in some ways to the Lenormand or the Kippa cards where they're quite direct in their message, like there's no um, waffling in any way. It's not about using your intuition. It's more about these are the meanings. This is the question you asked. This is the answer. So it's learning that for me is, is, um, is going to be quite a challenge, I think, because I'm so used to tarot where it's quite visual, you've got the options to sort of use your intuition a bit more, um, colours, symbols, everything sort of stands out. So the card has a bit of depth to it. These cards, the cardamancy, when you're reading the playing cards, Lennon, Mand and Kippa, are very straightforward, very direct. Um, I'm, you know, I just find that the cards, they really, um, the cardamancy cards, when you're playing with playing cards, is that the message is quite direct it's quite um this is what it is this is what it's about so i'm really sort of starting to sort of learn the a bit more about it i was reading um the playing cards like tarot cards but i sort of wanted to get into more of the old um romani um type methods so that's the beginning for me and um if anyone else is learning and want to sort of join in and have a discussion and see where you're at and which school of thought you use with card, with the playing cards, I'd love to hear what you think and what you feel and um, how you're learning and how you um, how long you've been reading for and how you find it reading for clients in this way. Um, I'd love to join with you and see what happens. Anyway, take care and blessed be from Ecarte's Crossing.